Hey guys, Savant here, and I got another episode of Lucas Aurelius' Adventures in Skyrim. So, oh, running little kid, loud. So, in between last episode and this episode, I went to the Bleakfall Barrows, got a few levels, but I did the quest. Now, I didn't do it on camera because, well, let's face it, everybody's... Most everybody has seen it, most everybody has done it to death, and that's not the the best, but I still need to go talk to the y'all. Jesus, man. I, I God, pick money. on them more. Give me five seconds right now. Oh God, I'm this far away and they're still loud. But, yeah, basically, everybody has done that to death, and so I'm just gonna, you know, skip it, go in here, but luckily... For me, I actually picked up, uh, here, let's go to, it's an item. I picked up in the, the final chamber in there, uh, Meridia's Beacon. So I think I'm going to do this, uh, or do that this episode. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to have fun with that. So we're just going to come in here real quick, turn this in. And uh, we will be on our way. Now I'm going to walk there, so... You know, stuff might happen on the way there. Good. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. Why, uh, yes. Yes, he has. You heard the summons. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Yes, it was. Uh, and I killed the dragon. I think There's I deserve no a reward. There's question about that. It was a mighty deed. You've earned a place of honor among the heroes of White Run. Why, thank you. But there must be more to it than that. Did something strange happen when the dragon died? Nah, nothing, bro. Um, alright, well, I absorbed some kind of power from it. A little bit skeptical. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. The Greybeards, you say? Who are these guys? Masters of the Way of the Void. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. Alright, so what do the Greybeards want with me, huh? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a tune or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. The Greybeards. Alright. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? Yes. That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. Alright, well... This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. <sighs> Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Talos of Atmora. Calm, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Well, capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. I would normally Nonsense. shout in your face. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Mm -hmm. Rongar, don't be so hard on Avanish. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeard's business. Ah, uh, come ours. on, guys. Keep... Come on, Whatever let's finish. happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you. And the Greybeards heard it. Yeah, I guess they did. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. All right. I envy you. Oh, you come on. To climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. So, alright, I'm, I'm done listening to him. So, basically why I'm doing this is I've hit a pretty high weight that I need to deposit some stuff. So I'm going to buy a house if I have the gold. And that's why I'm waiting for him. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. Well, how nice. Weapon from my armory to serve as... I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? No, we don't. We are honored to have you as thane of our city. Back to business for them. All right, so we're going to talk to him. Ooh, that's steep. I don't think I have that. 
Nope. No, I don't. So, I think it's time to go so, uh, go sell some stuff. So, we're just gonna... Where the hell's this guy, man? He's just gonna disappear on us, huh? Let's see, is there anything I can disenchant in here? Uh, the Axe of Whiterun. Oh, damn, look at that thing. 34. 34, huh? And I'm gonna leave these three because they are boss. Uh, you know what? What the hell? Why not? I'll probably actually just sell that. But, uh, too late now. So hopefully this guy is in here. No, I guess he's in the other. Come here, you. Give me the, uh, the coin purse. I guess I didn't need to stealth for it, but that's alright. But, uh, oh, son of a bitch. I guess he's over here somewhere. Eden. Yep, there he is. It seems this damnable spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. All right, so we're just gonna sell these. All right, so we still don't have enough gold. That's all right, though. The best weapon you have. Um, go away. Nope. All right, fine. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. All right. Well, thank you. But uh, let's see. So I've got a little bit different armor on uh, beforehand well this is the studded imperial armor now I leveled up quite a few skills particularly the smithing and I put a few points into the tree as you can see I went towards this side trying to get the better weapons I do like the dwarven weapons at least in vanilla which they're still there there are some new weapons but uh, I wasn't as impressed as I was hoping uh, and this right here gave me the smithing, or the steel, excuse me. This I can turn a lot of the stuff that I pick up into materials, help really level, go away guard, help really level the uh, smithing. Other stuff that I worked up, I believe, yeah, light weaponry went really just, phew. Really pushing its way forward, but alchemy I did work up quite a bit, and that's about it. Everything else is decent level, kind of rounded, well rounded at the moment, which might actually turn against me because uh, everything else will have leveled up as well. So who knows? But we shall see. Now I'm going to uh, start walking towards Meridia's Beacon, and I will see you guys when I either get there or run into something interesting I work with my mother she sells fruits and vegetables okay it's fun most I I don't give a damn let me check my weight I need to sell those uh, uh, that's about it oh yes these they're weighing me down but uh yes I'm going to meet you guys there so be back in a bit all right so following the road I got all the way you know, I came basically this way and then up and over and it turns out to be a dead end um, but there are some bad guys over here so I'm gonna oh some bitch they see me come on skeleton that's one right there one skeleton down Oh dear. Now get a shield up. Yeah! Alright. Not too bad. I will go ahead and level up though. Boom, once again. Nice and easy. Ah, uh, ooh. Got some decisions to make. I'll go with that right there. Um. You know what though? I probably do need to level this up. I do like using the blades. But I'm not gonna go into this yet. Standing power attacks have a chance to decapitate enemies. All ooh, consume 25% less. I do use a lot of power attacks. So yeah. So I'm gonna spastically save. I don't want to come over here and then the game freak out and uh, bug and whatnot. I guess just bodies falling down, or the bones, I should say. 
Ooh, what is in there, huh? Still helmet of major illusion? Fuck yeah, I'll take that. Oh shit! Come on, you bro. Come on, bro. Whoo! Scared me a little bit. I didn't know he'd be doing that. So this is one of the new weapons that Skyrie does put in. Ancient Nord Hatchet. Looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to use it because, you know. Oh, man. A Master Chest. Ain't no way in hell I'm going to be able to open that. I'm not going to even bother wasting picks on it. But I will go ahead and get the rest of this. This. And this. Alright, so. Nope. Missed one. So I'm going to start my backtrack over towards, well, getting back towards uh, Solitude, and I'll have to go all the way back down the road. I'm going to follow the major roads for now, because I don't want to get hit by a random dragon attack. Well, it'll probably still hit me, but yeah. So I'll see you then. All right. All right, so I'm not quite there. I'm making my way back. This guy, though, is taking an offering to a giant camp. Either way this ends up, I'm headed to the end. So I'm gonna see, I've never seen this before, so I'm gonna see if there's anything that I can do. All right, so uh, what are you offering to the giants? The cow, of course. Others do it differently. But I found that an annual offering usually keeps the giants away from our livestock. Some think it's superstition, yeah. but I believe it works. I've yet to have a giant kill any of my livestock. Yeah, yeah, all right. And the paint on the cow? It's tradition. We mark the animal as a way to let the giants know we're giving it to them willingly. Sort of a peace offering. Okay. So, uh, do you need any help? I have everything under control. Thanks for offering. Alright, then I guess good luck. Thanks. You take care of yourself now. Alright, I will do. Well, that's a little bit of a disappointment. But, uh, you know. Never hurts to to try. Alright, well, once again though, anything interesting that comes up, I'll be right there with you guys. So until then, alright, so we're back again and this time we're way over here. Now, I found this, I've never seen it before, but uh, well, it's a little puzzle for a treasure chest that's right down here, so I think I want to solve it. Um, just looking around. Nope. What does that look like? I don't know. Let me make sure I turn up the brightness. Actually, I want to change it to day so that you guys hopefully be able to see it a little bit better. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Now, it just looks like a simple puzzle. There's at least one thing. Oh, Jesus. A lot of giants real close. Hopefully, they won't uh, attack me. Alright, so snake over here. I just gotta figure out which way it faces. I'm thinking it's gonna face this way inward. Get the butterflies. Get the butterflies. Um, this one is a whale, so we're gonna face it inward. Let's see, what do we have here? This one's eagle. Hopefully that's right. Just face them towards the altar this altar. Sweet! Check that out. Nice and easy. Now I hope I don't get trapped down here. A hypothetical treachery. Alright. That skeleton's dead. So hey! You know what? Not bad. Not bad. Let's go check that book out real quick. Um, oh, yeah, let's go ahead and use that. So that looks like it'll par probably level up destruction. Yep. I'm not going to read it here. But you know, nice little neat thing. A lot of this stuff you don't see when you fast travel. But, uh, you know, discovering new things. So, onward to solitude. And as always, or as with the previous segments, I will stop for... Oh, are those guys bandits right there? I think those guys are bandits. Let's, let's go check them out. Make sure we get the oak flesh up, because otherwise they might hurt us very much. Alright, go check them out. I think they're bandits. No, they might be farmers. Like that. 
pick that as well. You there, traveler, over here. All right. That close. Never should have come. Whoa. Here. Whoa. Oh, vampires. Oh man, this is not good. This is not good. Oh no no no! Vampires, huh? Hmm. All right, so we know what they are now. Let's go ahead and deal with them. They look like vigilants of Stendar. They are not. Nope. I had to wait for the FPS to jump back up. Sometimes it goes a little wonky. That's okay. That is a okay. So we're gonna get up here because. We are gonna need it to deal with these guys. You there, traveler, over here. Yo, what's up? That never should have come here. Hmm. Oh dear, I hope that they're not trying to hit me, the nobles. Oh my god, please. Whoa, I guess those guys are apparently friendly. I have never seen them do that. Well, thank you for that. Sweet. Good god. I hope the body comes back down sometime. In fact, I don't even know where the body went. Ooh. No, that's not iron. Ah. Oh. Good God, that was a little, that was a little naughty from them. Oh, get the vampire dust as well. Should have been a clue when they were standing over a naked body. Should have been a clue. Should could woulda. But oh, that's okay. Um, let's see if we can't find that other body real quick, cause that one was actually a vampire, not a fledgling. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah, I guess so. We'll take that skeever tail and use it. Alright, where is this body? It must have gone thrown somewhere. But I'm not seeing it, so I'm not going to worry about it at all. And uh, we're going to continue on, word. Yeah, we're going to continue on. So until then, or until the next interesting bit. So yeah. Alright. So I found something interesting, and it appears to be the world's largest mud crab. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll show you guys where it is. It's over here. So a little south of this Junga cars, or... Oh shit, there's a lot of mud crabs. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Bruh? Oh jeez. This is a good time to work up things like uh uh destruction without too much worry. Come on you. Uh, whew, quite a few of them man. Should be one more over here. Check that thing out. That's a huge mud crab. I wonder if I can loot it. Damn. Imagine fighting one of those. Just. God, man. One swing of his claws chomps off your face. I mean, heck. Look at that thing. Fucking huge. Ah. Oh, king of the mud crabs. I hear a bear somewhere. Better be careful. I have better be careful. Oh man. That's just, it's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Alright, well. Okay, first off, I don't want to mess with no bear, so we're getting the hell out of here. Bears are mean, very mean, but uh, oh 
looky there. I would have missed that too. Gotta gather as much resource as possible. Mmm. Look at all this. So much stuff. So interesting. The landscape, everything. I really should have done this uh, when I first got the game. Just gone through and explored. Rather than fast travel and try to get through everything as quickly as possible. But oh man, this has been this has been completely fantastic. Uh, I did find a new shield as well. The Elven Light Shield is uh, set at the altar there as an offering, and I decided to help myself to it. You know, it was far far better than the shield that I had. Look at all these materials. All right, well, once again though, I'm gonna meet you guys at the next interesting thing that we find so see you there all right so i've made it to rorikstead here and uh well i've contracted a new sickness bone break fever so my stamina is reduced by 50 points now that's huge because it means that i can't block a lot of stuff you know um so yeah, I, I contracted it, I believe, from a wolf. I didn't notice it until the fight started, or partially through the fight. But yes, I contracted it. And so I'm here at Rorkstead, and there's an inn here. So hopefully they'll have a potion-making table. I'm going to work on the... Well, hopefully I'm going to see if I can make a cure disease potion. If there is even an, an ability to make one. And, uh, yeah, but I think I'm going to end this episode today. Saw some interesting things. The world's largest mud crab. And, uh, yeah, you know, we got to kill some skeletons, do some fun stuff. But, uh, next episode we'll definitely make it over to Solitude and start... I'm hoping at least start the, uh, Meridia questline. But until then, hey, thanks for watching. And definitely check out the other videos as they come out. Bye.